we're going to be going into the match. This is map one between Big and OG. The rematch, it seems like the only other team that has had in this tournament big number is Team Vitality, who defeated them in a very close game yesterday. The only other team that has shown us that they can take down Big is OG. And this is the rematch here for CS Summit 6 Online. And we're going to see Big on that T side to kick things off. Have they made the adjustments to like never that. again like that. lose to OG? You got me all hyped up, Dan. Pretty good. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's his job. It's our job, Eric. But he's so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> he's a rushed on professional. And so are the players in this server. And oh, NBK? Holding this position. Wow, so well. NBK. Oh, oh man. Oh, what a start. Baloney. What? I'm picking OG to win. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. That was such a sick, sick play from MBK. Just the patience is beautiful. It's always so satisfying to watch a master at work. First frag, a little bit labored. The follow up, so very clinical. Oh, and then the fourth oh, oh. kill. The precision. No adjustment. After that flick, there was no adjustment. It was just pinpoint accuracy from MBK. Those like, kind of shots feel good. That's so good to see as well. They, I think, again, OG the underdog team here. Seeing them having a good start is definitely exciting. Yeah, that was absolutely bonkers from NBK. Great stuff by him, but oh man. They're not Ouch. out of the woods just yet. Keto with the Deagle. Such a scary player at times. Only able to find one though. Quickly shut down by Issa as he tries to force the issue. But the rest of Big is here now. Okay, they were posturing as if they wanted to go towards that B site, but it does not look like that'll be the case. They want to clear out some of these forward positions that may be had by OG. Oh, good luck clearing out Valde. He's going to have the sound cues. Surely he's got the sound cues. Oh, they started to walk now, and he could actually get peaked here by Tabson, who has the Deagle to his right-hand side. Uh -oh. A little trigger discipline, but the bursts are not quite happening for him. That is uh, very un unfortunate. I think there's a low chance of that happening if you run it 20 times and uh, now the bomb stuck top mid so Alexi B actually has a, has a chance to slow things down but angles will be held by the scout and Tabson will go for a mid to B smoke so they've forced the uh, CTs out of position now but which way will they go? Okay they're suggesting it to B play. At least he's on the outside but here comes a push in towards A, a flashbang as well Alexi B. They could lose this round! Depends on what Mantu's able to do. That's a labor spray from Mantu. Oh, the recovery oh. is there, though. He had, I felt like, no chance to win that. But for some reason, somehow, he just <laughs> made it work. He's fine. Everything's cool. It's like you see Valde miss, and then Mantu just clean it up. And it's, it's unlucky. They had, like, two guns just looking right at him. Two great guns. A great start for OG. They've had uh, some scary times, but they've been handling things exceptionally well so far. Big on the save, and they have a couple, well, three deagles and a PC-50, a couple flashbangs. They're looking for some kills. A couple kills, perhaps, is really the most reasonable expectation or objective for this round. Getting the bomb down with no utility is basically an impossibility not to be considered. But it's these little engagements. The fact that Keto got a couple of shots there. Maybe one of those shots is going to connect. Similarly for his teammates, can they find something? The shadow advantage here is huge, by the way. Oh, the flash is perfect. Oh, <laughs> oh Valde, he can't get out. Oh, wow. What All right. flash. Now Montu will have to try to stop these players towards long, and he can't do much either. Oh, this is going so badly for OG. Alexi B. Ooh, lining up for Alexi B. He's seen a few of them. He could boost his teammate to try and take position. They don't have any eyes on short, and this is really awkward for them, but they're going to try and abuse that range while they have it with the M4s. Now that bomb has been committed around the corner, so they're going to have to go back for it eventually. The flashbang will give them a chance. Tizian will take Issa out, looking for a flank, which is never going to come, and BK's made his way towards Cyber's teammate. To be careful how he plays it with the MP9. They can see now that Tizian's made his way into the pit. He's got no Kevlar, though. But it's still a very dangerous round for OG as well. You can see MBK's upgraded to the M4A4 just in time. Very scary round for OG, and I'm changing my pick back to big. <laughs> <laughs>
One thing uh, I'll quickly mention is that the couple engagements I've seen Mantu in so far, the first engagement it looked a little bit sluggish, like he wasn't really warm or in or focused. And the same, this, this, the same can be said for the second engagement. And I haven't seen him kind of look that sluggish in any other match so far. So I'm hoping it's just maybe, uh, you know, we'll take him some a little bit of warm up to to kind of get his head back in the game. But but it offered up opportunities for big. But there we go. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. He's got the AWP. It's a different look. And he gets an early pick. Doesn't need it to shoot his gun if he says AWP. Yes. No, no spray necessary. Just point and click. Lexi B trying to get little forward progress on that catwalk. He's smoked off. Has to wait. He has to respect it. Respect the smoke. It's important as well to show that you're going to be challenging that mid-timing with the AWP because the teaser will otherwise take it for free and it gives them a lot of advantages. Lexi B hears the footsteps there on the catwalk position. That's his cue to drop off. HE to deny some of the setup grenades. You can see Big were actually waiting for that and they avoid that damage. I wonder if OG has to read. Alexi B went straight to the spawn. But that doesn't matter because Match is getting flashed off and he gets taken out long. Missed shot. Missed opportunity. And now bigger scaling the bomb site with the bomb. So this is oh, a difficult retake if yeah. they mostly go through that lower position. I guess Mantis did a double scope in in case somebody drops off into CT and again that high kind of advantage is going to be oh, abused oh. but he's getting more than you might expect from this how on earth do you win those kind of duels a cheeky jumping from NBK now does Sirson realize that they're both in a similar position goes to the flick doesn't hit the first shot and it becomes more and more awkward that was a, a brutal retake of the A bomb site from mostly the lower area uh NBK it's very rare you see such success MVK. Yeah. <laughs> He's just owning everyone today. He's popping off right now. This guy's been been deathmatch for five hours straight. Look at him go. Like that that first pistol round, that was a good start, but he's looking he's looking very deadly right now. Yeah, the, I think OG had no right to even win that round in terms of the positioning on big after the post plant. They had like three big players in a catwalk, almost like a firing squad looking down towards C T ramp and MBK somehow um kills three people in that spot. That's very not easy to do. Yeah, he traded every single kill reliably. And it's a very fast timing again. That they get found towards catwalk, but again they start off the round uh, losing a player. Like CB getting the opening this time. Limited utility here for big and Whatever sluggishness was uh, present on OG's side, MBK is making up for that, and then some. Really good to see. So this round looks much the same as the previous, but with less utility for big. But the positioning is the same, more or less. The question is, after showing from the cat control they're willing to just go into the A, a set piece, are they going to do that again? Or is this the case of... You know, they're going to throw a fake at OG. Or maybe well, they'll just drift towards the B split without further pressure on A. It looks like that will be the case. All right, mid to B coming out. Issa at the double doors right now will be the first player challenged. Where are the nades to support him? There's the flash, and he's able to find a 2K because of it. Kido does find him while blind, but the rotations are already there for OG. Alexi B on the flank leaves just taps it in the 1v3, and quick to take him out will be Matsu. Nice simple pop flash from OG in that situation. Pretty much guaranteeing Issa two kills outside the bomb site. We've seen a lot more <coughs> consistency on the CT side pop flashing uh, and like throughout this whole tournament. And it makes me happy. It makes me happy as a support player. It's unlucky that a big went towards it be in that respect because the only person on A who had flashes was Valde, who was behind the long door. So there were no support flashes for Mantu rotating back to the A site for whoever it was who was on the site, who also had no flashes either. So that may have been a more difficult hold for OG with their commitment to long. But here we are. It's a solid 5 0 for OG. And if you didn't come into this game warm and you're on the OG squad, you're definitely going to be piping hot now with the rounds they've had to win and the fashion in which they've done it. You can already see the pistols. Oh, the con. The, the the style of OG already is just this. It, it feels like there's this lack of initiative across the map. But when plays start to commence, 
they're just so ready for everything. They are just so on top of it. They, they didn't really have anyone with some forward information. They just read the play that was coming out, mid to B split, good nade protocols, and that's how OG play. They just minimize their losing conditions in every round. Yeah, that's a really good point. And it also makes, if they do start in, ever incorporating aggression every so often, it just makes that stronger as well. Good positioning here from BK. He's going to be loving this, just eating them up there in the tunnels. Obviously, it is just an eco, so we don't have to get too excited, but he's adding to the to the stats, man. He's, he's working oh. on some beautiful Ooh. numbers. He wants the ace. Get it. Get it. Get it. Ace. Ace. 14 ace. kills, one death. No assists because he shoots to kill. Wow. So many multi-kill rounds from MBK. Two 4Ks, an ace. What more? What more can you do? And that's half the rounds so <laughs> far of the entire game. <laughs> it's actually pretty pretty nuts. Yeah, his aim looks yeah like that was huge. Point. Big had two players facing the site with grenades to deploy. Um, so it was a very uh, risky execute into that B bomb site, let's say. Never made it a foot inside. And that's a 6 0 for OG. Big have maximum loss bonus, and uh, there's plenty of CS to be played, but 6 0 on the CT side of Dust 2 is a pretty great start for OG. I'm not sure Valdez had a chance to get a kill yet, with all the work NBK's been doing. <laughs> Indeed. That's the thing, sometimes I wonder if, like, if one guy's playing so well, does he, like, call off the rest of his team because they don't get any kills? <laughs> like, <laughs> Let me get my ace. Let me get my ace. Is it actually going to, is it, like, something that will hurt the overall team? I don't know, but Kita is looking to open things up towards A. He's found an opportunity here. Teammates will try to capitalize, pushing forward through the <clears> long doors. They've managed to trade out successfully here for a four versus three advantage as they look to take that A bomb site. Santaris on that mid lurk. We talked about this yesterday. It's one of the reasons why a lot of teams avoid going mid entirely, just go through CT. Because this, this lurk is so difficult to deal with. Oh, the flash works out though. But there's still more players from the cat position and that will finish it off there. Great round from Keto with the 3k. And big pick up their first round. And in order to make that mid lurk kind of work for the CTs, is that you have to have people on the cat walk to kind of help you out. Otherwise, as, as we saw right there, uh, a person like Xanteras in the lower tunnels, if he has no, if he doesn't have to worry about catwalk, he can focus 100% on the double doors, which is something you don't want to do as or have as a CT when you're trying to retake middle. I think something that may not bode well for Big already in this game is that the way they they just found their first round was off the back of Keto running through a Molotov on catwalk by himself. It wasn't really as much of a team effort as it was just a solo player making a an excellent play. So that kind of success is hard to replicate if you're on big, uh, especially against a team of OG's caliber. Then again, I say that, and they do have players like Sersen and Xantoras that can find openings like that into these rounds. It's just, will OG be able to punish if there's any more further solo aggressions in the future is the real question. Can they at least trade off of those kind of fights or make them 2v1s instead of 1v1s? So it's looking for the long pick. Flash bank plan is good. Oh, the flick will not connect. He wants more though. Going for the repeat with that flash bang. So it doesn't find anything. He saw that. Two man, three wow. man spray oh, down coming one. through. Keto, <laughs> Tizian, and Xantaris all falling. And oh, that HE could connect. Yeah, beautiful stuff from Taps, and that's going to help out. Has to make a forward play hit. MBK, he's just, he is feeling it right now. What a play around the side of the smoke. Taps and never expected it. MBK finding the small edges. And Valde finishes it off. And that's not a good way to follow up around. You've just won. They yeah. just got deleted towards that. They keep wanting to rush B. But MBK's not having it. B is such a hard uh, box to take on this map. You have to maybe support it with more mid splits to B than the straight up B take. Because if two people are playing B all the time and you're not conditioning them to maybe rotate a little more towards middle, you're exactly going to see what you saw that round. One person spamming, one person nading, and then the other guy spams, and then the other person nades. 
Just so you know, the B players are like nine and two and fifteen and one or something. So <laughs> yeah. just, just, just want to say, <laughs> just want to point that out. Oh, it's going no! B. It's, it's happening going again. B. Oh, two players left hit. They will actually find the trace into the site. Seems like they don't want to allow the B players to gain so much confidence, and they will quickly force things to a two v two retake for OG. It's good utility for OG here. Two fire bombs. Sirson continuing. CT deep left though, and down he goes. Big looking for a desperate second round now. Refusing to be conditioned on this B bomb site. Oh man, too. He got a shot off faster, but didn't quite land it. And that will be the second round for Big, although there are, there's plenty concern about consistency here with how strong the B bomb site's looking and how determined they are to keep going B. That's a l nice little move by uh, Mantu. I like doing that as an opera, just kind of elbow peek, try to bait the shot. Obviously, the operas wait for him to, to, to peek full, kind of lull him to sleep maybe just a little bit, and then pre fire peek that corner. Mantu had the right idea, just didn't execute it. Good challenge from MBK there. It is interesting because it, it, I do wonder if the meta will ever like shift that the CTs stop smoking. I don't know if it's actually possible that it could because what I'm trying to say is that it sucks for the CTs to have to smoke to cross. You have to. And it will the, never change. And the problem is that the T's get, once that smoke goes down, they get the ability to, behind the cover of smoke, find really aggressive timings towards double doors and catwalk. And that's a huge advantage. And it, and the CTs might still get tagged through the doors. So you have to challenge the doors every so often as the CTs. But I wonder if there's another approach that could possibly develop. Do you want to know how long people have been smoking those help doors for? I know, a long time, man. <laughs> Since source. <laughs> Since source. It's not going to change because the double doors exist. The T-spawn has too much wide spot for them to shoot. Right, right. If you wanted to stop, you need to take it back to 1.6. The T's only had a small window cool. of a shot from T spawn, not a gigantic gazebo of space, you know? It's just <laughs> you gotta change up T spawn if you want people to stop through doors. That's it. That's the only way. It's the only props, way. Props for gazebo. <laughs> it's a, it's a gazebo nice word. props, gazebo points. <laughs> Boomer meter, thank you. <laughs> Showing my age right there. Source. That's that's ten years. People have been smoking those doors. Man, Source came out fifteen years ago, by the way. Yeah, well I was trying to be, you know, like rounding it a little bit. Why are you exposing <laughs> him like that, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> well I just this because I thought it helped his point. <laughs> he's trying to hold on to his youth man, he's he's just walking to the Lazarus pit, you're pulling him back. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yeah, fifteen years people are smoking doors. I don't know if it's ever gonna change. All right, this is a bit of a mix-up here for OG. They double boost Cat, but they're both tagged net down by Sersen early on. He already... Oh, wow, what a name from Tizzy Beautiful. actually to follow that up. Yeah, that's excellent stuff from Big. And OG trying to force the issue in a round. Feels like this is the first time that's... they haven't played completely reactively, and it's not working out for them. Tizzy needed that from long, right? Yeah, he yeah. bounced it from long, which yeah. is awesome. Off that's so sick. Off the skybox, I think. You can throw flashes. There, but uh, that is quite the frag. And uh, Zatara's got bases to beat, but his bus pass has been taken away. And now the inspector's been kicked off the bus as well. NBK and Isa remain two versus four. Maybe there was a little potential there with the position they had, but that's come and gone now. And so has their money. So this is Big's entry into the game, having won this round. And you can see they understand the opportunities they have if they can eliminate all the weapons here. I think maybe Tizzy might be dueling with NBK. He's kind of stuck in lower tunnel now. And it seems the rest of Big will just chill out because their money's not spectacular either. They already have good advantage for the next round. They can capitalize on that when the time comes. Although NBK and Esau are the two who saved the rifles, who are both top fragging for OG. So maybe they play a default and <laughs> just take them to beat. So it is a recovery for Big. They've managed to get four rounds on the board and with the possibility of getting many more. Of course, those seven, I think, or as already mentioned, is a great, great half for the CT side that can often be so annoying. And we'll have Big here looking to try to keep things under control. The last round, OG had pistols. was quite dangerous. 
And this <laughs> round is no different. <laughs> nice flashbang. And that's going to take down Sirson. That's a gun there for Issa now. I think it was Issa that picked it up. Either way. Here comes the push. A, a big one to control the situation. And they have the A site. That's an important Molotov. <laughs> Might be a bit of a blessing in disguise. Forces OG off the angle. Now that now they can save those weapons if they so choose. Probably can allow Alexi B to take that op into the next round. Doesn't look like anybody from the big side is in a position to take him out here. NBK is still hanging out in this cat position, looking for something. He's feeling it, man. He's 17 yeah. for four. He's like, any chance of the frag, I'll have it. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely, under get, I absolutely get it. Yeah, just keep himself hot. He feels like no one in the server can even touch him right now, but looks like Big won't even challenge him. So Alexi V still sitting that all way. It's so huge. What if what a frag to get? That's gonna be annoying if you're certain. It's small plays like that with those pop flashes that make all the difference, and it's uh, it's always sad when you do, when you see teams that aren't in that mindset on their pistol rounds to try stuff like that more often. It's very sad, Dan. I agree. I think both of these teams, Big and OG, take just the right level of initiative on those kind of eco rounds. Just make the opponent uncomfortable enough, whether it's a single flash play or Big have done some interesting plays actually double nading and pushing top mid on Mirage, just little things like that. That uh always keep the opponent guessing. Don't let them just run whatever their game plan is. Well Sisson got the pick on A long. At the beginning of the round, that kind of timing pick through the long doors fell back. And they're looking like they want to split B right now. Normally in these kinds of situations it's always gonna be more favorable to go A just because as you guys can see on the minimap this is the this is the this is pretty much what happens like 90% of the time when the CTs lose a player early on, they go into two on B, one on A site slash car, and one in pit. So it's much easier to isolate the A players. But uh, with that said, big, you know, they're looking. It's actually looking like they're going for that B play indeed. So we'll see how successful they can be against NBK and Isa. They've both been deadly so far. Well, it looks to be a bit of a oh, fake, actually. Oh, they're faking it. Yeah, the bomb's still on short right now, and there's a, a caterpillar of players making their way towards that A bomb site. So, I wonder if anybody will creep through that smoke in CT spawns. And Torres is threatening to do so. There's the flashman too. Still scoped in, misses, and they're going to get a lot of map control now towards that A bomb site. We still have Valde in long, but they've they're losing the range. They've lost the range of the AWP, and I'm not sure that they'll. Look to throw good money after bad here, especially as the T's are already spread out. Zantara is in CT spawn, kind of compromises their options. And they may feel hunted now. Again, Big trying to uh, just take all their money away as they look to potentially close out this half with a lead. So, so I have a couple points here. Um, are, obviously, Big are going to win this round. But did they make their lives more complicated than it needed to be with the... They like faking the B split there because it feels like if they're on catwalk and in a position to just set a piece, it feels like that's actually stronger to just go and go for it as opposed to. I think it's all part of the conditioning of Big's play style. They just want OG to keep guessing, keep it moving, and a map. That's a like good point. Them. And a map like Dust Two, uh, mid splits are very dangerous, and it usually causes CTs to over rotate because you know there's a wall of smoke and CT spawn. And there's usually only two people playing towards that B-bomb site. So it's probably some kind of condition game plan, I think. Even if it just moves a, a player out of that goose position on A and forces one into CT spawn uh, as big throughout those mid to B smokes, then that's a job done. That's a just dislodging them, but didn't seem to really come into play in the previous round. That being said, I, I like how Eric brings up it could be a conditioning factor. The fact that now, the next time Big throw mid to B smokes, they might hesitate around that, then throw cat smokes again and play a double fake off of it. There's a lot of options now that will make OG think this game plan for Big isn't quite as straightforward as they may have first assumed. Citizen gets the opening pick again. This time to MBK towards B. 
Yusa does trade back though, which is good, but he's on a FAMAS, so he doesn't have a lot of firepower to hold this site. He will fall out actually as the flashes come in, and you can see Xantaris is looking for him, and Xantaris will find him. But somehow Isa defends with the FAMAS, still keeping himself alive. And a three versus four here, there's almost, in fact, there's basically no post plant utility at this point left in the hands of Big, so they've got to get it done off the shots, and that's exactly what's going to happen there. Another shot ringing in, and another one in favor of Big. It's up to Alexi V now, with that deagle out, just barely able to take down Tapson. But there goes the trade. 7-7 seven seven and Big are back in the game here. They actually might finish with a better score than OG, which is insane. You know, I'll be honest, I think the scoreline's a little deceiving because OG having seven rounds is pretty much the heroics of MBK on two important rounds where you got those um, um, four kills. One was on the pistol. That probably saved them about three rounds right there. And like on the first or oh. second gun round, I think it was on the second gun round, where MBK should have died but killed four people towards A. And that's like, I don't know, that's probably five rounds right there that could have went in Big's favor, in my opinion. This was seven to one at one point. Big is making a, a monster comeback in this game. And it doesn't even feel like they're really sweating it. A lot of these rounds have been pretty clean cut for them. Other than those ones that you mentioned from NBK, Eric, those those were a little hairy. But Valde, he's going to have to come up with some rogues of his own. But what oh. a great oh. angle. That is... Is that boost? Oh. I no, think he just jumped the on the barrel. The barrel. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sick. That is so smart from Tapson, who hasn't even had to I'm come up with an individual thus far. But Montu may do just that. He's able to find one, looking for more. Cannot find the second shot, but... Oh, this fight on ramp is so important, but he can't end up with the kill. And it has been a half of whiffs for him with the AWP, and uh, coming into Dust 2 the first map a little cold is a horrible experience, and that will certainly help Fig take a lead at half time. That is quite the comeback, but are seven rounds on the CT side enough for OG? Find out after the break. The first half between OG and Big had many looks. But it's safe to say, I feel like Big really came out the better overall. It was a hot start for MBK, but characterized otherwise by a bunch of misses from Antu put OG in an uncomfortable position. We'll have to see if that's something that they can remedy here as we have Citizen already doing aggressive, but he'll get discovered here on this pistol. And trades will continue in the mid area. And in that madness, OG will take the initiative towards this long position. But Zantaris oh. denies it. Beautiful stuff from him, leaving just Alexi B against four players. It's not an easy task here for OG. They needed a good start, but it's not shaping up that way. It doesn't even look like he's going to get a bomb plant, which would be really useful. But he has a Neo. His ticker on his gun. So I want to um, believe that he'll win this round. Because of the Neo sticker? <laughs> because of the Neo sticker. Wouldn't it be more of a curse? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Depends what Neo you get. Exactly. And what game <laughs> you're going playing. Hopefully it's the 1.6 <laughs> version. Oh, man. That's, right, it. Well, that's, that's it. Yeah, that's the wrong, <laughs> wrong, wrong sticker. Neo. Yeah. All right, Big continuing their streak of rounds here. They were down 7-1 to one in this game, and now they are up 9-7. to seven. They have won 8 straight. Yeah, Big's been looking better just overall. The timings, the teamwork... Uh, just a little more crisper. It's just OG's individual skill actually pulled him out a lot of rounds that first half. If if Manti was having that's a good why, game, that's why I chose big. That's why <laughs> I chose big. Even though even though OG kept losing the uh, winning the rounds rather, <sighs> but the way in which they're winning the rounds, I felt like big were kind of playing better or were stronger. Call them even the big fundamentals. You know, you know what they're doing sometimes, but you can't mm. stop it. This is too good of teamwork. You need better teamwork. This could actually get a bit messy here, depending on if Citizen's able to do any damage here. He does get one connection, but this is a guaranteed short plot. This is an extremely common way to play this round. I would I would actually venture to say this is probably the most common way to play this round as a T side. But you can see that the CT is playing that retake style. It's actually going to be two kills going the way of, of uh, OG there. And I actually think that the CT should try to challenge this. Um, more so than playing retake. I think that you can, tr with uh, a one well-placed incendiary on a round like this, it kind of 
really wrecks <clears throat> the, seat, the T side. A player in Goose, for example, can just win these rounds outright. Yeah. Depends yeah. on how you want to look at it, really. If you want them to defuse the bot, or if you want them to, you know, have the bomb down, but guaranteed more lives in the CT, or do you challenge them, preventing them having the bomb down, but you have more of a risk of getting picked off, or, or something like that. Really depends on your setup and preference. But OG taking the more conservative side, let them plant, and now OG has a nice amount of money to work with for these next couple rounds. One round. Oh, look at the position, though. Of well, we'll get to that in just a moment. Oh, Good. nice! Nate, that's an excellent nade from Taps. And the spray comes out though, and they're not able to find anything. Ooh. Just one kill actually on the side of Big there, and now OG have full long control. This is going to shift a fast rotation out of Big. They had a player in lower at the beginning of this round, but now he's activated. Keto wants to get that MP9 involved towards middle. He's putting so much pressure on NBK here, and he almost. He actually seemingly secured the cat position by himself from lower B tunnels. That's an interesting look. And now OG recognized that the space has been taken away from them. There's players on that A site already. There's a player on catwalk, and they're rethinking things here. They still have a minute to play with, so time is on their side. Oh, so cool that Keto fell back just in case. So he could catch MBK off guard if he goes back down the stairs again. It was awkward for him from start to finish with the MP9. Not really a jewel he wanted to take. And uh, NBK's made his way towards Xbox and down the stairs again goes Keto as you can see on a radar, but he might miss him as he goes up. Oh, he's seen his head, but again, it's not a reliable duel with the MP9, but he can raise the alarm to his teammate. He's kind of stuck in a good position now with Long being taken, but Searson, of course, delivers a kill regardless, overperforming in a really bad positional situation. Oh, by the time now, got a flash from his teammate, won't work though. Keto's picked up the AK 47, so he has a chance, but he will rotate his position all the way too long, it seems. And then one versus two. This is really smart. He knows that for seven seconds they can't plant. Then they have to plant. That's another three and a half seconds. So he gets all this time to rotate. But there's someone waiting for him. Oh, he annihilates Mantu. Takes his head right off with that AK. And now it's just next bullet wins effectively. Here we'll see if LXCB can find that headshot. Or if Keto is going to be able to figure out his position in time. Oh, there it is. That car providing the cover that's so necessary. The smoke for additional cover to make his way across to defuse this bomb. Create that pressure. It's a lot of time to play with here for Keto. He's going to try to bait out a jump here from Alexi B. Alexi B not having it though. <laughs> Alexi B playing this very smart. It's wasting a lot of time for Keto. There comes the jump now. Oh, oh! Alexi oh! B. So intelligent from him. He the is the IGL of OG for a reason. The big found the defuse. God damn, that was so close. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Oh my God. Cool. Yeah, they got, the, got the round. To win a round in a 3v5 situation, that is, that's a tough pill to swallow Yikes. on the OG side. And Alexi B played it so well, and he just couldn't find that first jumping kill. Just barely gave him enough time to defuse. I have no sympathy for jump kills. <laughs> Good. Yeah, he should. Uh, honestly, yeah. <laughs> Good. If you're, that's how you play it like that. If you're a classicist, you would <laughs> not be a fan of the jumping kill from Alexi B. But it, it works from time to time in this game. I don't mind it. I don't mind it how it is now, because now some of the time it will be accurate, whereas before it was just like, bro. <laughs> you know, with the scout with just with everything, it was just it was a little stupid and it's cool to do jumping stuff and have hype and and, and stuff but yeah but when you can reliably do jumping stuff it's call of duty mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a different game great point james yeah it's an arcade game as opposed to real life this is a real shooter <clears throat> with real life physics you get shot in the head and you're just walking around still og looking like they might want to get this piece split on the go and took catwalk away and everything but little do they know og or rather, sorry, Big, have three towards B. So this is actually going to play quite nicely into OG's, sorry, Big setup. We'll see if OG can actually break this. There's the lineup, and that's a lot of damage done already from just one shot. Keto is quite dangerous, just going to stay alive for as long as possible, taking pot shots as and when he can. The smoke is down in the tunnel here, which allows Ke Ooh, the situation to get reset for the CTs. This is a huge problem, that's Keto. One. Can he find Look at it? One. <laughs> can't find it. Still can't find it. Doesn't have to rush this one as <laughs> his teammates are doing a great job for the support and just 
Easy stuff here. Then. Look at how, how OG have been contained completely in the tons. Yeah, Big have perfect information at this point. Tizian on the big flank and... All right, well, Big will win the round off of time. Oh, taps it pushing forward. Oh, that's oh. going to really hurt the money oh, of OG there. Lord. Man, nice. <laughs> we were just on the edge of our seats that entire time, hoping that Keto would shoot I need... one collateral. Yeah, I, I needed to see it. I yeah. needed to see like three die at once, man. It was just, <laughs> oh. Uh, the conservative approach, though, does work out for Big in that round. They're able to stop OG in their tracks. They had him cornered from every single angle, and... Uh, I mean, we know what was behind the smoke, but Keto, he just, he plays it safe. He waits for the players to come out, and he gets the the earned kills, the safe kills. Because how bad would it look if he shoots one shot, and that moment is when they all pop through the smoke, take him out? He wants to play it smart. Man, I can't blame him. Yeah, his teammates are doing such a good job in, like, supporting him there as well. Yeah, he, I think he felt no urgency, really, after he dropped the smoke to keep himself alive. And it, and it was uh, kind of crazy that OG couldn't find the moment to get out there, which is a shame. But at the same time, big stack three towards B that round. So I don't know what kind of clairvoyance, clairvoyance is going on over the big side of things, but that was the perfect round to stack three B. Who is Claire? Clairvoyance. <laughs> nice nade. Chunked Validate of 14 HP. Let's hit him on the noggin. NBK oh, sound cues. He's given NBK an opportunity to try and take him out. It's a pretty good job from NBK. It's so close to finishing him off. 5 HP. You've really got to be careful about backing off like that when you're so close to a corner. Great awareness from NBK, but he was not rewarded. But it still could come into play later. They know that player is super low. So they may target him with these uh, mostly crap weapons. Looks like they will. They make their way up catwalk now. Cersen still at that ramp position with just 5 HP. He has to be so quick with these shots or at least get some nice support. But it does look like the rotations will come out. Tapson is already there to help his buddy. And he's moving onto the ramp himself. Cersen will play more towards the car position. The hit does begin here. And it's looking pretty good for Big. They're stopping this all in its tracks. Excellent utility. And it doesn't look like there's a great chance for any sort of bomb plan unless Isa can find something out of absolutely nothing. But he won't be able to get that opportunity, at least at ramp. We'll look towards mid now, and bigger just cleaning this one up. Okay, one kill there for Alexi B. That's uh, probably not the result they were looking for, but they'll take it. Seems like smooth sailing for big here. They haven't... They haven't lost a round this half yet, and that would mean that they have won twelve in a row, five in this half straight, and yeah, twelve in a row. Meaning that they've lost only one round of the last fourteen rounds, thirteen rounds even. That's that's not good. That's not good if you're OG. Lexi B Mike try to get a little bit funky here. Is he going to make a play through the smoke? He could do that with a pop flash. That a teammate could provide from top mid. It's quite a common pot flash that's thrown in the defaults to clear out these close positions. There it is. Man, has got no flash though. Oh, don't know where it came from, but it. there it was. There's a console command. The cheats are on. Minute 15 for OG, who taken some position towards short. He still will go fishing. Spray behind that Molotov and Keto will just hold on to his smoke grenades. Almost got baited there. MBK again trying to catch Searson out of position, but this time Searson will leave with all his health. One minute now, and uh, we've got Tizian getting closer to those long doors where Valdez just been sitting, biding his time. But it's uh, getting close to time for OG to make a play here. Yeah, that play from MBK looked quite desperate. Trying to just chase a frag like that. Come back to that point here. See if they can deal with Tizzy. And he's in the corner. And gets the first. It gets a think on the second player. And given that it's a four versus three in favor of Big, they're looking pretty solid right now. Citizen with a good connection towards Catwalk will keep the effort alive on this A side. Jumping orb shot. Attempted. Not going to work out for him, though. 
flashbangs to delay these T's as the rotation comes through. And they're going to oh. line up for Citizen. Cinematic stuff there. Quad kill you for him. James? See you on YouTube, boys. <laughs> nice stuff coming from Big. And Big's looking pretty unstoppable right Ooh, now. Like, yes. literally unstoppable. Nothing's working for OG. It's not even close. Yeah, you can see the desperation play attempt coming out from NBK towards Catwalk. That actually worked for Keto in the previous half, and it kicked off this run for Big, more or less. But OG just couldn't make it happen. Let go. Is that just a flashbang? Is it all in flash? Yeah, fast B play. This is so desperate here for OG. It feels like Big have been ready for everything so far this half. And here comes another quick push onto the B side. The AWP is doing a good job. Keith against the first one. The chain flashes are certainly making things difficult. But every single kill going the way of Big. Except one right at the end Holy from Alexi crap. B. But <laughs> Big are not to be trifled with on the B side, the A side, anywhere on the map right now. You cannot test them at all this is the run dust two done quick well kind of if they close this out 14 rounds in a row man yeah if they close it out with 15 straight that will be <laughs> insane going into map two yeah the level of confidence that big will have on inferno is just you can't mess with it and that's a good start here to make that happen long play comes out and okay all right valde Able to take down one. Good nade damage. And, oh, man, Sursen just picking him apart from Catwalk as well. This big play is just so one-dimensional now. It's All the info is known for the big side. It's just Alexi B in the 1v4 trying to find something, but it's not looking good for him. He is able to find a single kill, but Keto is quick to trade him in big with 15 rounds straight to close this map out. <laughs> wow. Yikes. That is such a performance from them. 1-0 in this series. OG started to run out of ideas. And it's, I don't know how to, like, where do we even begin the discussion on this one? But Big have to be feeling it right now. It looked like they were starting off cold, but it's, uh, I don't know where the scene went for OG, but they've, they've got to find something here. Uh, we'll have to discuss this one more and really get into the nitty gritty of Dust 2 after the break.